So I just finished filming. Oh, that's bit. Anyways, I just finished filming a tutorial on this eye look, and now I'm going to be doing a fashion haul. Wow, that's uh, pretty ambitious, don't you think? I think so. Two videos in one week. What? Anyways, so uh, my friends and anyone who asks about where I get my articles of clothing always hears that I'm getting them from Don 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 Fashion Nova. I love Fashion Nova. They constantly have sales going on from like 30% to 70%. They're celebrating every time that they hit a million followers on Instagram. And they got some bomb ass clothes. They got some like, mm-mm, that's some thotty ass Instagram baddie bitch clothing. Oh, I haven't done a recent haul yet, but I have done them two times, I believe, at least two times. So I wanted to show you some of the pieces that I bought within the past couple of months, and um, I'm just gonna show you them. So let's get right to it. Okay, so let's talk about the first item. This is a velvety zip up shirt. Um, and it has beautiful gold zipper embellishing and a olive green shade. And this is something that I would wear for a, um, a nightly occasion. I don't think I'd wear it to go clubbing, but I would definitely wear it if I wanted to be snazzy looking at some event. I would pair it off with black pants, either like black slacks or a thicker quality black liking and a pair of boots. Okay, next up is this rose gold crop top with long sleeves and a band. Well, like a, a tie, whatever. Anyways, so this has a clip in the center so that you can cover up the boobies, but Chances are, if, this, if you buy this in your exact size and you have a bust to your chest that is gonna pop out anyways. This actually is in a size medium, but since it's a little bit tight on the waist, it doesn't have as much stretch as you think it has, it will fit me tighter around the waist. And since I don't have the skinniest figure, the leanest figure, it does bring out my chichos. But I love it anyways, and it matches with my rose gold Puma sneakers, so I look fly as fuck. Here we have this off-the-shoulder blouse with cutoffs on the sides to show a little bit extra skin. And this reminds me of a Starry Night. It is black base with a bunch of um, gold threading. And I actually don't love this piece. It looks great on the model, but I just don't love how constricting this off the shoulder part is. It has a band and it just feels like I'm fucking stuck like this. I definitely think it would look great with a pair of jeans and some strappy heels. And now we have this peacock colored blouse that also has these ties right here so that it creates a sort of cut out. It reminds me of a flamenco dancer. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. So I think I don't know. Okay. It has a slit in the back. And I don't know, I really like it whenever I'm putting my hair up and I'm just wear it with some tight pants. Also spicy, you know? Now this shirt reminds me of my favorite condiment. Mustard, obviously. Cute little choker but I think I'm gonna have to do some alterations on it just to make it a little bit tighter because when I wear this, the choker just hangs off onto my neck and it kind of looks like there was no purpose in it being built into the shirt the way it is. I really love the fact that it has a zipper on the back and oddly enough, it's not too hard to do by myself. Now let's move on to sweaters, cardigans, and coats of blazers and all of the above. This one is a crop top that reminds me of the 90s Beverly Hills with like that bowed out type of skirt. Uh, I loved it. I've only worn this once and the only thing I don't love about it is that it is light colored and I actually didn't think about this but when I wear it, of course I should not be surprised that my makeup is all over the damn collar. But you know, now this sweater looks more like your traditional sweater. 
and it actually has the little knot like design built into it and it's a very comfy find it, it is v-neck obviously as you can see and this I would wear whenever I'm feeling kind of lazy but I still want to look semi-fashionable it's a very casual piece okay now we move on to this bomber jacket that is short sleeved and has these um, these beautiful striped uh, sections to them and this is a very versatile piece I could wear it with just about any color of but I would feel most comfortable wearing it with black or white or gray or something like that. Um, I don't normally try to get white pieces because they get stained. Anyway, so this makes me feel really, really nice, especially when I wear them with boxer braids. They make me look awesome. Look. Here is another bomber jacket that I actually wore yesterday. And it has long sleeves that are crocheted and I think that's the reason why I loved it the most because it's very delicate looking but at the same time very boss like and obviously who does not love the color olive green especially in a very satiny silky looking type of material I think this is a great great option so this is a simple cardigan that I bought to wear to work it's a nice um, berry cranberry type of shade very thin material so I don't get too hot at work especially now in the winter time but you know it's still like kind of fashionable enough so I wear all black underneath it usually um, just so because the color stands out so nicely and I don't want to overpower it with anything else and then I could just use it as an excuse to do a cranberry smoky eye look or something like that now this cardigan it, it looks a little warmer. It has a hood. I don't love it. I'm not gonna lie. It's very cheap. And it looks like it was just cut up very lackadaisically. Now this one is one of my favorite pieces. It is also another type of cardigan. You just throw it over yourself. It has these little fringes down here that I think also add to the style. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have pockets. The reason why I wanted to get this piece is because at a point in my life, I did have a couple of plaid pieces, and as I grew up, I don't know what happened to them. And I would like to build on my plaid piece collection. This is my first part of the collection. I'm looking for a dress, though. Let me know. Let and me now we have this long coat that is described as a mushroom color. And it is sleeveless. It has this uh, belt that you can use to rub. And it has this nice little faux fur section right here. And why did I think that it came with pockets? Oh wait, it does. It comes with pockets. Ain't that great. And I never owned a piece like this. I wanted those long pieces that can reach down to your knees or down to your calves. So this is my first piece and I've worn it only once. I kind of like it, but I'm still going to play around with it to see which outfit I prefer most using it with. But I mean, I think it's pretty cute. And now this piece is a vest. And the reason why I got it is because I was seeing it all over Fashion Nova around December and I noticed that I don't really have pieces like this and I thought it'd be cute. Uh, I've only worn it once with a um, black dress and I actually really liked it. Uh, I need to, maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. I need to wear it more often definitely. It has this cinched or waist area and it zips up and it feels overall very comfortable. I really love the quality of the faux fur. And I think that it is also a versatile piece. You can wear it with a dress. Um, the way that you would use corset belts to cinch your waist with a dress, you just flap this on top and then you have like a, you've turned your dress into a skirt somehow. And you could show this baby off. Wow. Lastly, I'll be showing you the dresses that I own from Fashion Nova. So this piece is actually some, what I wore with that vest. And I love the fact that it has this lacing 
nice in the front, so it has a sexy vibe to it, even though overall it is a very simple dress. Um, and I love the cut. I'm sure you can really see it. You can tear this off with a corset belt, with that vest like I mentioned, or any other type of belt. Or you can just wear it as is if you're okay with rocking that tunic type of life. Now, this dress is a sweater dress and it goes off to the side and the zippers all the way downward. Actually, it has two zippers, two gold zippers. So you can um, pull this side upward a little bit so that it looks sexier. You can show a little bit more leg. Or you can pull this down until someone ends up seeing your bra because what else are they going to see other than a boob? It's a very comfortable wear and I actually feel really sexy with it since it's not too tight, the fabric isn't that constricting, it doesn't squeeze me into all my chichos and stuff. Now this dress is one of my favorites, it's a very sexy dress, it is a floral print, roses to be exact, it also has a built in choker in it. Um, the one thing I don't like about this is that I felt that I was about to rip the seams when I was sliding this over my head. But other than that, I really love it. The fabric's very nice. It's uh, also not constricting. It, it feels like cotton blend. It's super, super sexy, especially because it gets to show all the boobies. And I have paired this off with those thotty thigh high boots in the past and I look really nice. And this is my last dress that I have to show you. It is a very sexy dress. Um, I believe that it's made mostly out of polyester. It has this area right here that looks very sexy that goes down to around the diaphragm area so it gets to show all the cleavage and it is a halter top type of dress so you just tie it in the back. Uh, I should have gotten a size larger than this, normally I am a medium, but um, this is a medium and I feel that I can get into it semi easily, but getting out of it is, I feel like a sausage in its casing. It's actually pretty difficult, I always have to ask my boyfriend for help. Hopefully I don't have to with time. Exercise life, yo. Exercise. Got this piece to go to a Lust event, Lust NYC, and if you don't know what that is, it is a, a very sexually charged type of um, company that is run by this crazy cool awesome chick who likes to sometimes draw paintings with her period, but we love it. It was a pretty fun event to go to. Uh, they had flamethrowers and they had contortionists there. They had a huge cuddle puddle that was very sexy. And they had this flogger. And if you don't know what a flogger is, I'm talking about F-L-O-G-G-E-R. He is that person that hits you with a flog, which is the BDSM uh, toy that has all the leather straps on them and you just go like moving on to body suits i only have two from fashion nova and i hope to expand my collection because i really i'm starting to fall in love with body suits but the first one that i have is this one that looks a uh, very lingerie-esque um i like wearing it whenever i feel a little bit scandalous and it has a um a nude a fabric behind the, um, on the booby area so that your nips don't show. You don't gotta worry about that. And it's just an overall really sexy piece. I feel like a Victoria's Secret goddess whenever I'm wearing it. And then I have this other one. It has these uh, slits that are very low so that you can show a lot more skin on the sides. Uh, which I originally really wanted because I have tattoos on both of my ribs But the only thing that I don't like is that I have these bruises that I've gotten over time from wearing a specific bra that I cannot find in my bra collection That keeps on giving me these bruises near my boobs 
those were all the articles of clothing that I wanted to share with you guys for my Fashion Nova fashion haul. I hope that you really enjoyed this video and if you did, please uh, click the like button and subscribe as well so that you can join my YouTube family. I plan on posting videos at least once a week and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. When you want to get off that dark